Well, good evening and welcome to Channel 8 Sports and tonight East Brunswick High School girls basketball. Hi, I'm John Megliaro being joined by Sonny Regalado as we bring you tonight's East Brunswick Hoffman matchup and Sonny, uh, I guess the story this evening is this Hoffman team. They're one of the better, they're the best thus far in the state. <laughs> yes, they are. They're rated number one right now and their record is 12 and one, but they're still number one. Who did they lose to, do you know? Yes, they lost to Linwood, California and that was in um, New York City Christ the King tournament. So they haven't lost anyone in New Jersey yet. No, they haven't. All right, we're about ready to get underway here, and we'll fill in some of the uh, background on this Hoffman team, as well as look at East Brunswick. But it's Hoffman with the ball. They'll control it. The Zemski sisters underneath. And the first basket scored by Chrissy Kuzemski, number 20. And Hoffman, the Lady Govs on top, 2-0. Randy Klein turns the ball over for East Brunswick. Bears playing his own, 2-1-2. Two, two. Shot won't go. And it's out on East Brunswick, Kim Harden. So Hoffman will have it under their own basket. Just starting action here at East Brunswick High School. Hoffman fouled. That's Barbie Holland with the foul. And number 10, Lisa Smith, was the shooter, but she's not gonna go to the line. I guess it happened before the, the shot was taken. I think so. So Lisa Smith will inbound the ball. Good move inside. Good ball rotation, there's that press. Basket by Mary Ann Stefanik. And the Bears now trying to get on the board. They trail four nothing. Salamini with the ball, looking around. Kim Pryor now. Inside to Holland, Holland will pull it up. No good, rebound by Kashemski. Down court to Lisa Smith. Tries to save it and can't. East Brunswick trailing four nothing. And a turnover, and that's something East Brunswick's not gonna be able to afford against this team. No, not really, John, because every time they do turn it over, it seems that Hoffman capitalizes. Smith will inbound it. Shot, rebound, Holland, and they're gonna oh. call for traveling. Oh. So most of the action happening at uh, the end of the Hoffman court. Smith's shot. And Salamini, and she's called for travel. No, let's see what the call is, two different calls. And they're gonna call a foul on Bialoblocki, Bio Renee. So East Brunswick catches a break. Still looking to get on the board. Harden. And they're gonna call her for traveling. And East Brunswick unable to get anything going here in the early part of the first period. Smith back with the ball. She's the playmaker. And she'll take the shot. And she hits. Nice outside shooter. Lisa Smith. Hoffman by six. Salamini having trouble. And a foul will be called. Well, she's gonna have to take it up. She's got the speed and she's got the ball handling skills, so. Jenny Kuszemski with the foul. Danny Salamini will throw it in, stolen. But stepping out was Chrissy Kuszemski. Go back over to the Bears. 
East Brunswick trails 6 0, 5.55 to go, first period. Kim Harden looking for some help. Stolen by Lisa Smith. And a foul's gonna be called on Kim Pryor. Chris Noble, number 11, will come in now, replacing Renee by a little blocky. Lisa Smith from the corner won't go. Rebound underneath. Chrissy Kuszemski, 8 0 Hoffman. Kim Pryor from outside, off the rim. Noble with the rebound. And Hoffman's on the move again. And she's fouled, and Salamini's going to be hit, called with the foul. Daniel's first? I believe so, yes. More importantly though, Sonny East Brunswick has three fouls, team fouls in the first period. And Smith with that outside shot. Randy Klein will bring it up. Kim Harden to Salamini. Up to Holland. Looking for some movement, Pryor. Salamini inside, fights away past Smith. Misses the bucket, but Holland's right there. Can't go. And Hoffman clears the boards. And he'll call a double dribble against Noble. No travel, rather. Terry Zulin, number 21, checks in. And Mary Ann Stefanik will take a seat on the bench for Hoffman. East Brunswick trails 10-0, 430. And we have a double dribble there. Double dribble by Danny Salamini. Sonny, East Brunswick just can't get on track. A lot of mistakes, well, a lot of turnovers. They seem to have a tough time passing the ball and getting control of it, and we've taken two outside shots. And that's about it. Hoffman moving the ball real well. Looking inside, it's stolen by Pryor. It's a nice double trap. Salamini brings it up. Hoffman's playing a real good man-to-man. -man. Holland. Again, that's another outside shot. Good block by Kuszemski and Hoffman. Back on the move, and that's Chrissy Kashemsky with the bucket. 12 0. And they'll get it back, a turnover by East Brunswick. Noble in the lane, and a charge is going to be called. So the Bears trailing by 12, looking to get something going. 3.39 to go, first period. And again, a turnover as East Brunswick is unable to handle the press. It's a real tough man-to-man -to -man press. Um, it's interesting, Hoffman used to press a zone press, a 1-2-1-1, one, 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 and now they've switched to a full court man-to-man. -man. Seems to be effective. Krzyzewski, no good. Holland, rebound. Looking for some help. Klein. Looked like a foul there. Nothing called. Klein slips, they'll call a travel. And replacements. Renee Bialoblocki comes back in. And a timeout is called. And Coach Sal Piccarillo will try to get things on track for East Brunswick. 3.26 to go, first period, and the Bears trail 12 0. And you can see Coach Piccarillo. Sonny, what do you do against a press like that, or what can you do? 
You're going to have to set a couple of picks and hope that the ball handler can get around up at the backcourt over here and then go down there and run your offense. I mean, they're taking all their shots from the outside and their man-to-man -man offense is designed to go inside. And three out of the four shots were taken from outside the key. You know, this looks much like the Heightstown game that we covered a few weeks ago. Same thing in terms of the press and he spends it mm -hmm. being unable to overcome that press. And here Hoffman, you know, much better at it obviously than Heightstown, but uh, again, he's probably having trouble. You know, Danielle Salmini came off of um, an illness. She missed school yesterday. And um, she's probably combating that a little bit. Also, Kim Pryor came off an illness. But she's still hustling. Good move inside. They do pass well, though. They penetrate, and then they pass. Marianne Stefanik with the shot. And she's fouled by Salamini, her second. As we can see, the Hoffman team is putting in people after people, and they're still keeping up the tempo, keeping up the pace. They're real well around the team. And they're pretty deep on the bench. East Brunswick with four team fouls. Still in the first period. This is Stefanik. She missed the first, hits the second. 13-0 now, Hoffman. Somebody's got to set a pick for her. Klein looking for help. Salamini all by herself at the key, hits. And East Brunswick's on the board, 13 to two. Three minutes to go, first period. Noble to Smith, who'll take it right up the middle, looking to dish it off. Ball out of bounds. It'll go over to East Brunswick. Salamini looking for some help on the inbounds. Klein will get it off to Pryor. Down court to Holland, two on one. And they can't convert. Bad pass to Harden. Smith, she'll take the shot. Rebound Holland. Salamini. Kim Harden all by herself, easy layup. Nice fast break. 13-4. And again, some free substitution by Hoffman. It's hard keeping track of who's coming and going. <laughs> Steal by East Brunswick, and Salamini's fouled. Right. Nice move by Salamini. Little fake and then up and drew a foul. So Danny will go to the line. She'll shoot two. The foul was against Chrissy Krzyzewski, number 20. And her sister Jenny just entered the ball game. Danny hits the front of the rim. Stefanik comes out. By a little blocky back in for Hoffman. They have four out of the five original starters in right now for Hoffman. And Danny hits. 13-5. Good He's defensive pressing move. Now. Good defensive move by Almost Randy. a steal by Fine. Salamini. By Blocky throws it up. Pryor with the rebound. I mean, Harden. Salamini will take it up. Looking for some help now. Inside, there's Holland. Tried to finesse it a little bit too much. By Blocky on the break. Lice left-handed layup. Well-schooled team. Yes, they are. Salamini won't go. Rebound, Klein, she saves it. Right in the hands, no, taken by Salamini again. Oh, won't go off the rim. Klein, I mean, prior foul, oh. or no foul called. <laughs> no foul called. No bucket for East Brunswick as Smith dumps it off to Kashemsky. 17-5. See, she's done that before. Timeout, East Brunswick. 1.13 to go, first period. The Bears trail by 12, 17-5. You know, if the, kid, if the kids can believe that they can put together those five points and at any time, I think they can do it. I mean, those five points came within a minute. 
And I think that they can do it if they keep the, you know, the intensity up. That's a good point, Sonny. I mean, you don't have to come back and try to score 17 points. Five at a time is all you need to get moving. Right. And to get in this game. And I think, too, you've, you've got to let Hoffman know that you're here to play and make them take some shots they don't want to take. Exactly. And with, with, with just scoring five points, he put in four of his, out of his five starters back into the game. Well, Hoffman uh, and the coach is Reggie Carney, and he's done an outstanding job. We were told before the game by Coach Carney that they average 80 points a game. That's right. And give up. And give up only 40. Only 40, so. They really have not been pressed by anyone in the state of New Jersey this year, and, and you can see why. They're an outstanding team, well-coached team, and they deserve uh, the accolades they've received this year. And the Lady Bears are hanging in there tough. There's a screen away that they need to get the ball in. Harden trying to dribble it up. She gets it away. Good ball control by the Bears. Holland on the follow-up from Pryor. Just can't buy a bucket. Good pass underneath. Rebound Harden. Klein fights for it. And there's Salamini all by herself with the layup, and she's fouled. And this is what East Brunswick needs. That's what they need. They just have to keep going at it and take it to the bucket. And just like in the Heightstown game, we missed a couple of easy shots, and that's what put us behind right away. Good point. They had plenty of opportunities in that game to uh, be right in it. All right, Danny will go to the line. She'll have a chance to make it a three-point play, and she does. 17-8, East Brunswick chipping away. 35 seconds to go, first period. Lisa Smith. Nice move along the baseline, won't go. Jenny Krzyzewski, and a foul will be called. I think it'll be on Kim Harden. And it is. And they're in that bonus situation now. Both teams are. They call that on 53. Is that that's um, Kim Pryor? Yes. No, no, Kim Harden. Well, they called it on Pryor. They called it on Pryor. That's oh. interesting. I didn't even think she was on that side. I didn't either. <laughs> Well, Jenny Kashemsky hits the first, hits the second. It's 19-8. Oh, they're taking their, their press off. Salamini to Pryor. Holland shooting from the outside. Salamini on the rebound. The follow-up puts it in. 19-10. Good offensive Smith, rebounding. Yeah, pushing it up. And at the buzzer, it won't go. So after one, it's Hoffman 19, East Brunswick 10. And East Brunswick starting to come to they're life. They're back. I think they're starting to believe now. And you see Coach Sal Piccarello. He's in this, they're only down by nine points. Again, they scored five points in one minute. And the last minute and 53 seconds, they scored the next five points. So it can be done. That's one thing I found about girls' basketball games, that even if you're ahead by 20, you can still lose. <laughs> <laughs> well, it does come in spurts for most mm -hmm. teams. And, uh, you know, when you look at East Brunswick and uh, Hoffman, East Brunswick matches up well with them in terms of size. Right. Kim Harden, uh, Kim Pryor, and Barbie Holland, Holland all have good size, good height. And uh, that's I right. Mean, they're not, uh, they're not, at a you know, disadvantage by any means. Right, Kim Harden's 5'11", Kim Pryor's 5'10", and Barbie's six feet. All taller than me. <laughs> <laughs> Danny Salamini has it, and East Brunswick starts his second period. Harden now looking, Klein. Pryor trying to move the ball around, find that open person. There's Salamini, she is open, and she swishes it through. 
Reggie Carney's getting on the edge of his chair for Hoffman. Kashemsky, nice use of the backboard. Randy Klein. Out to Pryor. Salome, good step to her right and hits. You know, she's been working on her shot. About three days ago, she started to. Timeout, Hoffman, 21 14. East Brunswick's cut the lead to seven. Right. Coach Har Carney doesn't seem to be too pleased with this. I think we can give him a run for the money here. So I was saying, Danielle Salome started to work on her shot. She didn't feel like um, she was getting the shots off and she was putting them in the basket as often as she thought she could. And she's going back to her fundamentals, worked on it real hard and, uh, three days ago and it seems to be paying off. As we see Reggie Carney, and I know you have a stat on his record, Sonny. Yeah, he's co this is his 11th season and his particular coaching record is 247 wins and 32 losses. It's incredible. So he coached here when I, when I also coached. And uh, he, was, he was a good coach then and he still is, as you can see. Unbelievable record. <laughs> and you can see him extorting his team. This is a pivotal period for East Brunswick, I would think. If they could stay close, they can come out that second half and, and with some excitement and enthusiasm. Well, Hoffman's going to have to respect them if they stay close, you know. All right, Lisa Smith will bring it up. Kashemsky looking across court to her sister. And she'll put it up, and she's fouled inside by Kim Harden. Jenny Kraszewski will go to the line. It's interesting. Coach has four out of his five starters in there. The coach from Hoffman, that is. Randy Klein, number 34. She's a junior, and this is only her third year playing basketball. She only started as a ninth grader. That says a lot about her and her athletic ability. Yeah. Good technique. Jenny Kashemsky puts Hoffman on top, 23-14. Salamini, Harden, and just over the head of Holland. It's nice ball movement, though. Kashemsky looking across. Her sister, and there's Smith from the outside. What a touch. Randy Klein being pressured, gets it off to Salamini. And she had Harden underneath, but ball kicked out of bounds. Two is in for East Brunswick. That's Debbie Levine. East Brunswick, East Brunswick having a little trouble getting the ball up and around, but Salomini puts it up off the glass. 25-16, nine-point lead for Hoffman. Stolen by Harden. Will it go? Yes. 25-18. Couple unanswered points there. Another. Oh. Almost stolen Almost again by steal. Harden. Looking underneath, good ball movement, noble stuff by Harden. Here comes Klein, not enough on it, and it goes off Salamini. Buddy Sprunzik's hanging in there. And Hoffman puts in their fifth starter. So they're back to their original five. As Renee Bialoblocki checks in. Shemsky out to Smith. She hits. That's her territory. Pure shooter. They're pressing again. Salamini has it all by herself. She's trying to get underneath to Holland. She may have been better to take it herself that time. There was no one in front of her. 
Holland's been running both courts, both sides of the courts, pretty good, both ends. Salamini, Levine, put it up. Can't put enough on it, good save by Klein, but they're gonna say she stepped on the line. And Smith will bring it up for the Lady Govs. Kashemsky looking across court to Bioblocki and back inside to Kashemsky. Won't go. And her sister Chrissy is fouled. Debbie Levine. Chrissy Kashemsky at the line. She'll shoot two. And she hits. And Holland with the rebound, 28-18. Hoffman by 10 as Danielle Salamini looks, looking for Harden underneath. Can't hold on to it. It's a nice pass. I think Harden was turning the other way. Four fifteen to go, second period. East Brunswick Hoffman. They're gonna call a travel against Noble. Good, good pressure. And Kim Pryor will check in. Number fifty three, Debbie Levine will come to the bench. So East Brunswick with their original five back in. Gonna go over to Hoffman. I don't know what the call was. Five seconds, I think, out of bounds. Okay. There's Noble looking in the middle, but Shemsky now will go to Noble underneath, and they'll bring it back out. Smith. Noble. I'm sorry, Kashemsky. Rebound and follow up. 30-18. Salamini to Pryor. Harden out to Pryor. Pryor will take it off the rim. And it'll go over to Hoffman. 3.20 to go. Second period action here from East Brunswick High School. East Brunswick, Hoffman. And Hoffman in the lead, 30 to 18. I'm John Migliaro, we'll being joined by Sonny Regalado. Hoffman comes in number one team in the state. Here's a three-point shot, won't go. And ranked 11th, I believe, in the nation. Kashemsky won't go. Holland with the rebound. Looking down the middle for Salamini to Pryor, and they get it away. And turnover by East Brunswick, but they'll get it back. Luckily got it back. Andy Klein looking for some help. Holland pulls it down. And East Brunswick needs to gain their, their composure. Move that ball around, look for the open person. They trail by 12, 30 to 18 with 2.30 to go, second period. Holland, there's Salamini, and she hits. Salamini's hot today. Playing a great game thus far. Good pressure Good by Harden. Pressure. Hoffman working for every basket. Here comes Kashemsky on the drive. 32-20. East Brunswick's gonna have to score a couple unanswered baskets in order to stay in there. Okay. Pryor puts it up. 32-22. Noble, taking it right down, dishes it off to Kashemsky. 
Won't go, rebound East Brunswick Holland. To Klein. Salamini. To Pryor, Pryor will take it. Will it go? It will. 32-24, 1.25 to go, second period. Smith four will bring it up. Four and answer points. Shot, no good. Kashemsky underneath, That's blocked good. by Harden. And Holland. Holland again with another rebound. Randy Klein brings it up. There's Salamini by herself. She'll dish off to Pryor. And Danielle wasn't looking for the pass back, and Smith should have an easy layup. And she does. 34-24, 10-point lead for Hoffman. 50 seconds to go, second period. Underneath to Harden. Harden makes move, no foul called. She was nice move. strangled. Like she was <laughs> Kashemsky, beautiful move to the baseline. 36-24. Back to 12 points. Pryor will take it. She's fouled going in by Kashemsky. You know, a 10-point game against Hoffman is a pretty good game when they've been beating everybody by 40 points, at least 40. I agree, Sonny, and it's a good point. East Brunswick's hanging in there, 10, 12 points, but uh, they're if running Kim can with make them. this in and get a steal and put it in, could be back in there. 18 seconds. Kim Pryor, she hits, 36-24. 25, rather. Okay. All right, 36-26, a 10-point margin for Hoffman with 15 seconds. They're looking Ooh. for Bialaki. Mm. Hoffman got lucky that time, it went off um, our leg, but it wasn't even intentional. Pryor touching the ball when he sh she should have let it go. <laughs> Gives Hoffman another chance with 10 seconds. Smith out in three-point area, off the rim, Klein with the rebound. Five seconds. Kashemsky will take it off the front of the rim, and that's it. Halftime here at East Brunswick, a 10-point lead for Hoffman, 36-26. But, Sonny, you've got to be pleased they're in there. I'm surely pleased. A 10-point ball game, that's really good. It also, it also could have been a lot closer if we had made a couple of those points, and Hoffman hasn't been making too many mistakes. So a 10-point lead, that's very good. Well, if East Brunswick can uh, get it together the second half, this could be a hell of a game as... Uh, mm -hmm. We wait for the third and fourth periods, and we'll be back with those periods in just a moment. Well, Sonny, we're about ready to start the second half. You have some stats in terms of uh, the scoring. Th that's right, John. Uh, for Hoffman, Lisa Smith has scored 10 points. And Chrissy Kajemski has scored 15 points, and her sister Jenny has scored eight points. And um, for the Lady Bears, da Danielle Salamini has scored 16 points. Kim Pryor has scored six points. Harden has scored four points. And that, that about says it all. Okay, so East Brunswick is really not getting the kind of scoring they need from some of the other players. We, we, need, we need some scoring from Kim Harden and uh, Barbie Holland, the inside players. We, we desperately need those. And they've shot a couple from inside and, and missed them, and those can hurt. Mm -hmm. All right, we're about ready to start this third period. The ball will be brought in by Hoffman. They lead by 10, 36-26. But East Brunswick's giving him a game, and I'm sure Reggie Carney's not all that comfortable with a 10-point lead. And we start the third period. And Hoffman starting with their five. Noble underneath. Won't go, and a rebound by Holland, and she's playing a great defensive game. But a turnover. East Brunswick throws it away. Viola Blocky off the rim. No prior rebound. And East Brunswick's height is really helping him under the boards. Salamini to Klein. 
And Hoffman comes out pressing like they did in the first half. He's still playing that man-to-man. -man. Smith trying to steal. Salamini looking for some help. Klein finally. Holland from outside, standing, hardening. She's looking now, taking it to the basket. It won't go. Follow up, but a foul against Noble, I believe. Those hurt, those little chip shots hurt. They add up at the end. It's a nice drive to the basket by Kim Harden, though. Okay, the foul's on Noble. Barbie Holland will go to the line. She'll have two shots. First one won't go. This is the second. Harden, though, pulls it down and puts it in. Oh, nice shot. Smith being pressured. Gets it up to Kashemsky. And Smith launches one, three-pointer. Almost a two-hand set shot there. 39-28. Hoffman by 11. Pryor. He almost got caught on a five-second hold penalty. Harden looking inside for Salamini. She's double teamed, but they get it in somehow. Salamini with the shot off the rim. And the ball is off prior. Here's Noble across by a little blocky. Looking inside, Noble will take it. Swishes it through, 41-28. Three on one. Pryor. And East Brunswick's unable to take advantage of it. Here comes Smith. Looking for Noble, a little bit ahead of her. So with 5.32 to go, third period, East Brunswick trails 41-28. 13-point lead for Hoffman, who comes in ranked number one in the state, number 11th nationally. And a foul's gonna be called on Kashemsky, Chrissy Kashemsky. That's her third. It's her third personal foul. And in high school basketball, five and you're out. No inside rebounding on that one. Good ball movement by Lebrocki with the layup. And they're gonna call Kim Horn for turning it over. And inconsistency has plagued East Brunswick again. I think that was number uh, 54, Barbie Holland. I think she stepped over the line. Kashemsky, nice move. Nice move. And her sister follows up. 45-28. It's getting away from us again. Debbie Levine. Holland. And Smith will bring it up for Hoffman. And they're going to call a blocking foul against Klein. And that's Randy's first. Hoffman will inbound it. Shot, three-point by Leblocki, hits. 
48-28, a 20-point lead, their largest of the evening. Two different girls shooting a three-pointer and making them. Uh, Chrissy O'Brien is now in for East Brunswick, number 21. Gets it off to Klein. Klein in the paint. Hits. Smith. She's played this game a little bit. <laughs> She's got a lot of finesse moves. Puts it up, won't go. And be off Debbie Levine. See what they call, though. They, they call it off Hoffman. So he spends a goal, have it. It's not an 18 point game now. We have to score some points here to make it interesting again. Holland. O'Brien into Klein, and Klein hits again, her second in a row, 48-32. That's where that offense is um, meant to score from, down low, and that's really the first time we've been able to do that, and by the shortest player on the team. Viola Blocky, her second three-pointer, 51-32. Hoffman with 3.15 to go, third period. O'Brien back to Klein. Klein gets it up, just won't go. Good move though. And they're gonna call double dribble. They'll go over to East Brunswick. That was a good call by the ref. I thought he was screened out. Three minutes left, third period. 19 point lead for Hoffman, 51-32. Brian into Levine. There's Harden. That's a nice pass by Debbie Levine. Can't go, and here's Smith ahead of the pack. And she's fouled by O'Brien. That's Chrissy's first foul. So Lisa Smith will go to the line, and you have an interesting number on Lisa Smith in terms of her high school career. That's right, John. Um, she's, this is her fourth year, and while she's been at Hoffman, her team record is 100 wins and three losses. So she's only lost three <laughs> times in a four-year career. Unbelievable. It's amazing. You know, you have to play with a lot of confidence when you're 103. <laughs> that does give you an edge. Anyway, Salamini brings it up. Smith is on her. O'Brien able to hold on to it, and they're gonna call her for traveling. 2.36 to go third period. Hoffman in front, 54-32. 22 point lead. Good move inside. Won't go. Shemsky. East Brunswick needs to get across the line, and Salamini does. O'Brien. Number 50 for East Brunswick. That's, That's Karen Marstana, right? And a substitution. Kashemsky comes in for, for Kashemsky. <laughs> Fifty-four, thirty-two. Hoffman in the lead. Two minutes to go. Third period. You know, it's interesting. Um, even though they're leading by this much, they still have respect for East Brunswick. They still have their main starters. Lisa Smith hits. Fifty-six, thirty-two. Harden. She'll take it. Uses the glass to put it in. Nice move. Good move, uh, no, she's called for the foul. Looked pretty good to me, right in front of us. <laughs> so the foul is on Kim Harden. Hoffman will inbound it. That's the third team foul for East Brunswick. And second foul for Kim Harden.
This has been a fast-paced game. Yes, it has. Viola Blocky shot it, and she's fouled. And I think it's going to be called on Pryor, 53. That should be her third. And Viola Blocky will go to the line. She more of the three-point variety of late, throwing two in a row up just a few moments ago. Viola Blocky hits to make it 57-34. I'm sorry, that's Mary Ann Stefanik. Couldn't quite make out the two. And a foul has been called on Kim Pryor, her third. And so that will send Teresa Zulin to the line. Salamini with the rebound. Hoffman by 24, 58-34. Harden looking, Salamini driving, O'Brien shot blocked. Chrissy Koshemski on the block. Lisa Smith is out. What a game this she's a, had. Yeah, this might be a good time to press. Kim Harden, ooh, and she runs over Stefanik. And a foul is called on Stefanik. East Brunswick will inbound it. 55 seconds to go in the third period. Lestarma inside to Harden, and a foul is called on Noble. <laughs> Trying to uh, confuse the ref a little bit. Someone yelling, jump ball. He called the foul, and you see Kim Harden at the line. Lisa Smith's coming back in. That was a pretty quick rest. <laughs> <laughs> With a 24-point lead, I didn't think we'd see much of her anymore, but she's back in, and so is Jenny Koshem Koshemski. As Chrissy Koshemski leaves the game. <coughs> and Kim Harden hits the second, 58-35. Smith looking underneath for Koshemski, won't go. Forty-five seconds to go, third period. Salamini bringing it up. Looking underneath for O'Brien, off the rim, and off Salamini. Oh, and they're gonna give it to East Brunswick. Got a break there. <laughs> 30 seconds, Pryor. Off the rim, she gets her own rebound and is fouled by Zulin. Nice cut to the basket after a shot. So Pryor will have two. And before the game, Kim Pryor and I were um, talking about college, and she said she's going to St. Leo, St. And, Leo uh, in, Florida. in Florida, right? And she plans to be a walk-on in basketball. Very good. Fifty-eight thirty-six. In and out. Salamini, good play, but blocked underneath. By Zulin. Now Smith with the ball. Nice move. 
And Krzyzewski, but won't go. Harden rebounding. Smith, three-point territory, hits. Unbelievable, four seconds. 61-36 at the end of three. And that period may have broken East Brunswick's back. Yeah, I think that did it. 25-point lead, that's just a little, a little too much, 26-point lead. And a 25-point period for Hoffman. Hoffman in front, 62-36. Sonny, I know you have some scoring averages, uh, which are really unbelievable when you start to read these things for Hoffman. Yeah, they're all, they're all pretty much up there. Um, Lisa Smith is averaging 13 points, and she's surpassed that. I think she's about eight points over her average right now. Chris Kuzemski, a 24-point average, and her sister Jenny Kuzemski, 20-point average, and they're pretty close to it right now. And Chrissy Noble scoring six, Marianne Stefanik four, Teresa Zulin five, and Renee Bialabaki five. That's their average for the season so far. Well, we said going in, Hoffman averages 80 points a game and gives up only 40. Well, East Brunswick is close to pushing them on that 40 mm -hmm. points. It's 61-36, 25 point lead for Hoffman. Good passing, Harden, and they call a travel. She couldn't get the shot off. And surprisingly, Hoffman has most of their starting still in there, much like we saw with Heightstown a few weeks ago. Smith, nice move by Noble to save it. And Krzyzewski, and she's going to be fouled. I think it's Salamini. Should be her third also. And I think a lot of teams, when they play East Brunswick, they have a lot of respect for our teams. And um, they play us tight to the end, knowing that we could always come back. This is a lot for our program. Well, it says a lot that Reggie Carney's not satisfied or comfortable with the 25-point lead. Guess when you get used to blowing teams out by 40, <laughs> 25 is rather close. Anyway. We have to go down and score a couple more, try and get back into it. Yeah, I, I think he's probably could put some pressure on him in the sense of a few quick baskets, get their own confidence going here. Salamini looks inside to Harden, just can't go. She'll try it again. Nope, third time is a charmer, 63-38. Twenty-five point lead, and nice play by Kashemsky, and she's fouled. And I think that's Harden's fourth. We're just getting back a little too late. We're not getting to the block in time. Foul is against Harden. It is her fourth. It is her fourth. And Jenny Kashemsky will go to the line. Sixty-five, thirty-eight, twenty-seven point lead. And Kim Harden will get a rest. Salamini bringing it up. Inside stolen by Noble. Good pass to Kshemsky. She's fouled going in. And fouls against O'Brien. That's Christie's second. So 6.49 to go in the game. Hoffman with a rather comfortable lead, 66-38. You know, this Hoffman team has a lot of composure. They've, they've been playing against the best in that New York City tournament with Christ the King. It was a tournament of champions, and they lost in the final game against Linwood, California, as we had mentioned earlier. And in that tournament, all the teams combined, and there were eight of them, all the teams combined scored 100, um, excuse me, uh, the record was 196 wins to 12 losses. So they're playing against the best. That is unbelievable. 
Yeah, it says something too about basketball in New Jersey, which you know I think everyone can take some pride in. I mean, this Hoffman team, it's a very small town, South Amboy. Yeah. And uh, much like South River was in football for years, here's Hoffman in, in girls basketball putting out, you know, super teams year in, year out. Uh, exactly, and they're also a powerhouse in softball, this Hoffman team. Hmm. It's a community backs them, and it's really nice to, to see a program from New Jersey go this far. Well, I'm sure you'll see some of these girls for Hoffman uh, out on the diamond this year. I'm sure. Uh, also, a graduate of Hoffman, Lynn Ust, is yep. playing now at Rutgers and starting. Yeah. And doing a very nice job for the Lady Knights. Sixty-eight thirty-eight. East Brunswick cuts the lead to thirty. Salamini to O'Brien. Klein. East Brunswick moving. That's Holland. And they've had their opportunities. Points just haven't been easy to come by for East Brunswick tonight. Lady Bears playing their hard out, though. Trailing by 30 with 5.50 to go in the game. Good pass underneath to Koshemski. Noble to Koshemski. And you can see why they're the top team in the state. They pass well, they move well, and they hit the open person. Underneath to Klein. Klein blocked by Noble. Picked up by Smith. Then you can hear Coach Reggie Carney yelling to set it up, move the ball. He's not satisfied. Again, good ball handling. Noble, left-handed, tries to throw it up. Finally, Holland with the rebound. Klein and uh, O'Brien all by herself. Randy wasn't looking up that time. O'Brien can't hold on to it. And Smith somehow comes up with it. <laughs> and she throws one up. <laughs> no foul called. And Tim prior. prior on the break. And she gets the A bucket. Nice conversion. 30 point game. 70 to 40. Again, Hoffman's been blowing people out by 40, so East Brunswick is nothing else. May change that tonight. Three-pointer, Krzyzewski no good. Rebound, Holland. And it's fun time, let's face it. 4.15 to go in the game. Salamini, Klein on the follow-up. And he's supposed to go keep it. And now substitutes will come in for Hoffman. The Koshemski sisters sit down. And Biela Blocky sits down also. They keep the um, point guard in, though. Lisa Smith's used to in directing. Smith. Shot by Klein is good, 70-42. And you know, the score isn't indicative of what we've seen tonight. East Brunswick has played well against the best team in the state. Mm -hmm. uh, I agree. And they, let's face it, they don't have the experience, the maturity to play with a Hoffman, uh, as many of us would like to see but there's no questioning their heart and determination and their, I mean, their uh, motivation here tonight. They've played hard. Klein is fouled. And Manny's been playing like a, like a big forward. She goes right up and takes her shots inside. That time she drew the foul nicely. Well, a good foundation is being built here for mm -hmm. Coach Sal Piccarelli. He's got some very young players. He does, only two seniors are, are on the team. Diane Flynn comes in, number 55. Salamini will sit down, and Kim Harden will come in. And Kim Pryor will have a seat. Randy Klein at the line, shooting two.
Senna, you've been here a while. You've seen the program grow. They had a, some bleak years as well for a while. They started off very strong at East Brunswick, the girls' program. Hit some rough spots and are starting to come back slowly. Well, I, I think what happens, um, or what actually happened was the recreation department um, used to run a real, a real nice program in the township. And then all the girls started to dwindle off the program and um, they just don't have a league anymore. And I think that that's hurt us in terms of many girls playing. Okay, so that feeder system was gone. It's gone. They're into soccer right now. Which says something as to why our soccer teams are so it, good. Exactly. Same with softball. The, um, the softball teams have all dwindled also. And um, for the past three years, we haven't had a recreation league. And that hurt us. And that's a lot of what we don't see here. You know, on Channel 8, we show you the varsity games with both uh, boys and girls. And we don't get a chance to talk about those kind of feeder programs that mean so much to you coaches at the high school. Also, we had, before last year, we had two junior high schools feeding the high school. That means 10 starters. Now we're down to five starters. That's a good and, point. Yeah. You know, we used to have four ball handlers. Now we're down to two. Mm -hmm. Good point. That's right. The junior, the restructuring of the school system. Mm -hmm. And a foul called inside against Zulin, Teresa Zulin. 2.29 left in this game. Hoffman on top, 72-43. 29 point lead. Kim Harden at the line. I think if we cut it down to a 20 point lead, we might feel like we did a nice job. It's a moral victory, mm -hmm. I would say, yeah. Especially for a young team that has something to look forward to because I would imagine they'll see Hoffman again next year. On the floor right now, four out of the five played JV last year. Not one out of the four out of the five did not let her last year. And it goes along with what we've been saying. The, there's that inexperience and you know, people may think that's an overworked word, inexperience, but in a high school at a varsity level, there's such a big difference between playing JV and varsity. If nothing else, just being out in front of people. Exactly, if, watching the game. Yeah, playing in front of parents, friends, uh, a lot of pressure on these young people. And we had an exciting JV game earlier. And we did, yeah, <laughs> we should report that the JVs beat the um, Hoffman JVs. JV, right. 43-42, and it was it an was exciting a, game. It was exciting. And Hoffman had a good record. And as a matter of fact, number 23, who's playing right now on the varsity, played most of the game on the JV. That's Lorraine level. McNerney. Uh -huh. and, and Pat Peters does a nice job with the JV team. She also coached most of these girls when they were eighth graders. And we should point out that Danny Drewlis for East Brunswick uh, had the, the winning bucket, the winning free throw. So, uh, a split here, if you will. <laughs> the JV's winning, the varsity losing. 130 to go. East Brunswick trailing by 30, 74 44. And number 51, Dana Naclario, comes in, and Kim Harden will go out. She's a JV player for this year. Nice touch by Zulin. Really doesn't matter who they bring in though for Hoffman. One ten. Debbie Levine goes to the line as this game is almost history. Christy O'Brien will check back in. Randy Klein will take a well-deserved rest. Randy did a very nice job tonight. I'm impressed, Sonny, quite honestly. Uh, I think that in a, another year or two, this East Brunswick girls team is gonna be a team to be reckoned with. I think so. The uh, ninth grade program right now uh, is undefeated. They're 10 and 0. And that's a nice three pointer. <laughs> that's Bilo Blocky again. That's her third, I believe, three pointer. Yeah, and as I was saying, the ninth graders have a 
an outstanding team, and they're well-rounded. And I think that they're going to give another dimension to this team next year. They're real quick, and they're real strong. And that's what's needed. Uh, this game has changed considerably uh, in, the, in terms of how the girls play it today. And it's not a half-court game anymore. No, it's not. If Ernie throws it up, won't go. <coughs> Zulin and Flynn with the rebound to O'Brien on the break. Can't control it. Now she has it. Off to Flynn, who'll throw it up over the rim. Levine to O'Brien, 15 seconds. O'Brien's shot won't go. And nine seconds of foul on Flynn. Well, now the last starter just went out for Hoffman. Number 12, Marianne Stepani. And I'll tell you, if Lisa Smith goes back in, <laughs> <laughs> I'm leaving. Nine seconds left, Hoffman, 79, East Brunswick, 44. 35-point lead, close to what they're averaging. And McNerney makes it 80. Levine, seven seconds to go in the game. And that should about do it. And it's all over here at East Brunswick High School. The final, Hoffman 80, East Brunswick 44. And so East Hoffman improves their record. They're in, obviously maintains their number one ranking in the state. Probably will improve their national ranking. I think they're 11th coming in tonight. That's right. And they're 13 and one overall right now. And 13 and one. East Brunswick, a, a good, good game. Uh, just didn't have the horses to keep up with them. Uh, particularly uh, in that middle to late second half. Mm -hmm. But Sonny, uh, again, a learning experience, and you know, I, I don't want to make light of that because I think those are the, the games like this tonight come back to help you at some point later on in the years, and whether it's next year or the year after, as you see Coach Sal Piccarillo talking to his team. I think so, and the exposure for the girls being on cable, it's, it's really good. Well, I hope it, it does help the program, and, and certainly we enjoy covering the girls. Their energy is, uh, uh, can't be topped. Right, and hopefully it'll inspire the little little ones to come out and play. Well, we hope so. And I thank you for being with us this evening. Thank you, I enjoyed it very much. And we hope to see you again. Thank you. Again, the final from East Brunswick, it's Hoffman 80, East Brunswick 44. For Sonny Regalado, I'm John Migliaro saying thanks for being with us.